See here. I'm still a little bit sick of that silk. The spoiled milk I tried. You all seen in the shorts. Anyways, let me get down to the point. Because I know a gilded poo would respect that mostly. Look, first I want to say this. I appreciate gilded poo. You're the first person to actually showcase some things that I, you know. I might not have, like, fully shown that. But that's because I lost the, they erased it, you know. Uh, and it's been erased far, far long ago before even the Wayback Machine could get to it. So, it's gone, okay? I, all I got left is stories and a bit of PTSD. That's true. But it doesn't affect me in the way that people think it does, especially you, let's be honest. Oh, oh no, I'm scared of the FBI. You think I'm scared of anything? Only thing I'm scared of is myself. <laughs> That's crazy, right? Oh, it gets better though. But first, let me just do this. You know, I just want to make a shout out to Gilly Poo. Really, I really do respect and appreciate that video you did on me. Um, letting people know the things I've been through and uh, try to help with, honestly. Even though it was like kind of, a little bit condescending. Not condescending, but a little bit, you know, joking around, I could tell. But you know what I could also tell from that? from your actions is you wanted to joke about me seemed like you more had to agree with me most of the time in fact you could tell it'd be kind of stupid to not agree with me in a lot of things that I was putting out there anyways check this out so this is the uh, gilded poo channel lol cows rants that tire I, I fit in the rants category once again, you see, when you try to do videos like this, you can tell. Look, he's getting 2,000 views here, 3,000 views here. What does my video get? 800 views. Ain't that a little bit of proof that they don't watch me, what I say out there? Come on now. How would that end up like that? A close number, I got subscribers too. If I know if I make this little conspiracy idea, you're just going to say, oh, it's the FBI, I'll subscribe to you or something like that. And I'd laugh at it too, because it, for sure, I, that whole video was beautiful. It was beautiful to me, honestly. I, I teared up, I laughed. I realized I finally had my footprint on this earth, you know? And if you think I'm done, <laughs> I'm done when evil is done, okay? That's what comes. And I think Gilded Pooh, you got a little something wrong there okay you think that um i was trying to like use you know oh let's get these you know i was trying to jump on a trend or something you know like everyone's calling out these sickos and stuff like that and so you thought like oh yeah i know it's, it's of course it's good to help kids that's not the point i'm proving here that's not why i do all this stuff that's not why i go exposing stuff that needs to be exposed when it comes time okay the reason why i do it is not just for the young if i did just for the young Think about it, wouldn't that be weird? Not only that, but wouldn't that be scummy? You know why? Because I do this for all innocents, young, old, elderly, you know, even young adults. We could get scammed too sometimes. You ain't safe there, Gilded Poo. It's one click away for a virus, right? But you got people like me, like Mundahar, other people like that out there spreading awareness so you guys do not make these stupid mistakes. And I could tell you know it's a stupid mistake because of how you try to explain what I was explaining. I could I could see it. You were like, you were getting aggravated because you were sitting there explaining something everyone should know. But, obviously, you have to explain it. Therefore, everyone don't know. Made you a little bit ticked off, huh? That's where my anger was coming from. All the time. It wasn't because, you know, I wanted more. I didn't want to, you know, have to deal with more. I mean, I wouldn't mind to have to deal with more, honestly. I'll do whatever, you know. Now let me finish off this shout out. Let me tell you, because there's one thing you kept bringing up. Oh, yeah, like, I could kind of tell you're kind of worried that the things I say might get me in some hot waters, maybe in some deep waters with some cylinder block sh shoes, you know. That ain't the case. You want to see why? This is why. Thing I said and done in the past and now has been done. I always leave one up though. 
one more step so I can continue my path and just keep continuing. As you can see, everything I've done, well, has been done. This is why I'm not worried about, you know, exposing truth in any way. I'm satisfied with what I've done and said, you know. I learned the hard way that we have to do this uh, exposing stuff in such a critique way, in such a special way. You can't just get on here, see, you know, willy-nilly saying what other people said. You have to be safe, not safe, you have to be smart and logical of what you say. The only time you can go around saying willy-nilly about someone if you have hard, true evidence and you show it as you say it. That's the only time you can get away with it. If you don't show the evidence, hard, true evidence, well, and you try going around saying this and that about people uh, without saying allegedly or um, some other special keywords, key words, in my opinion, one of my favorites, uh, you get taken down. Not taken down like you think, but like blacklisted. Like, you know how when stars get canceled, you don't see them for a good five, ten years? That could happen to our content creators even even people with 200, subscri 200 subscribers or 200 followers only that's what happened to me i had 200 subscribers no 230 subscribers on youtube and 1300 followers on facebook i don't even use facebook anymore they don't allow the truth so if they don't allow the truth that means they don't they won't they don't they'll never like me because i'm all about that truth I don't care what you think about it. I don't care what others think about it. I don't care what my enemies think about it. I don't care how much I get hated for trying to make a better future, not for just some, but for all. See, I made a promise to you all. I'll make a little bit of everything for a little bit of everyone. That's what I'm doing on this channel. I know sometime, time, time, time to time, I'm gonna stop and, you know, Especially if it's something that needs to be spread away and it's something that you all need to be warned about. I'll do my best to try to push that out there. But at the end of the day, you gotta realize that most of the videos here are for entertainment view. I'm not saying what I said was a lie. No, no. I'm saying, yeah, I'll be doing this, but you know, don't be surprised if you see a bunch of series and cartoons and music made by me. Meanwhile, you see, like, every once in a while, a truth-exposing video. Because even though I just want to lock into my entertainment, you know, stick with the script, if I did that, if I turn my back on evil as it goes on, that leads, that, that could mean you people get hurt. If you people get hurt, that's, there's my viewers. That's a big problem for me. And more importantly, it should be a big problem for you. <laughs> it's your safety at the end of the day. I know I'm not the healthiest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. I tell you what. I want to be... I want to be one of the awesomest guys out there. And how you be awesome, truthful, be yourself, and be stay awesome. That's how you stay awesome. So, Gilded Poo, please stay awesome. Thanks for the review on me. And heck, you're more than welcome to come back and re review any more of my content. Any of it, you know. Um, be careful with the gameplays, though, because the gameplays, you know, games allow content or copyright content on them. So, yeah, be careful with reviewing the gameplays. But... Like, and also, if you wanted to reach out to talk with me through, um, through any kind of, I don't know, a call way, so, you know, you could record it while you talk to me, do an interview, whatever you want, dude, just let me know. Thanks for the, the shout out, honestly, that's the way I see it. You might do it, you might think it was just a big joke or whatever, but to me, what you did was, like, golden hearted kind of thing to do for someone. You spread good information. And you actually listen to me. Like, 
that's heck. Honestly, I would as long as it was just one person, and now you have eight hundred people listening. So beautiful. You're going to help out the future as much as I'm helping out the future, basically. And I'm, I'm not going to say I'm proud of you because that'd probably be a little bit condescending to say you're obviously a bigger YouTuber than me, you know, smarter too, and a little better with the debtor. I, I love that debting you get, did in the videos, like where you switch off from my video to yours with your comments. Perfect. So please, if you do want to do another video on me, and heck, you can even let me know like what kind of series you'd like to see me do. I'll do it. Because if it's reviewed by... See, I've been asking people that. Like, I've been telling all these people that do that, uh, reviews on LOL Cows and uh, the Wack Pack from Howard Stern. I even wa I try to join that Wack Pack from Howard Stern because of my bone deformity. But by the time I wanted to join, they were already done with the Wack Pack. See, you know, Howard moved on to the real radio. Anyways... But, yeah, help me become a whack packer. Yeah, I don't, heck, you know what? I'm down to become an LOL cow. Low cow. I can't even say it right. I'll be the, let's see, the geekiest, skinniest, no, not the geekiest one because I'm not smart. Skinniest one? I don't know. I might not be the skinniest one. I think that one, uh, guy that went to print Larson or something like that, he might be skinnier than me. Um, the most deformed one. There we go. The most rare deformed one, because I do got a rare deformed de uh, bone deformity. Only fifteen thousand people had it when I was born. It take if you want to get knee surgery to fix it, it's like sixty percent chance that you'll make it worse, and you could end up in like a wheelchair or in crutches for the rest of your life. That's why I never got the knee uh, surgery. I just kept the deformity, but. That means that over time, and plus this deformity, it's like something that back time got because people ate squirrel. Like grandma ate squirrel, mom ate squirrel, and I got it. And my mom got it too because her mom ate squirrel. But yeah, since it was for caused from that, there's a lot less people with it. So now it's probably like 10,000 to 7,000 people with the bone deformity I got rare. I got that rare blood. Make me a rare LOL cow, the rare cow the blonde cow. It's like the red cow. <laughs> okay, I didn't mean to make that sacrilegious joke. But hey, thanks for watching once again. Gilded Pooh, shout out to you. Stay awesome, dude. Hopefully you watch this all the way through. If you think I wouldn't fit as an LOL cow, you know I'm good at ranting. Just give me a topic on ranting, I got you. I do a whole 34 minute rant on it. And the most intense rant you got. See, before they kicked me off Facebook and blacklisted me for exposing Jeffrey Espion and um, the other ex-president, I'll say BC initials, um, I used to rant every day on those posts on Facebook. What's on your mind? Three paragraphs. People be like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, I'm just having fun here. I'm saying, what's on my mind? Yes. So I got it. I'm loving the rant. So yeah, give me a rant topic and I'll, I could be the best ranter if, if not LOL Co. It's all good.